everybody, Jacqueline here. Today's video, I wanted to do an unboxing. Um, Ryan and I just got back from a camping slash work trip, and this was delivered while we were gone, so I'm very excited to open this with you. Um, it is from Dustlin and Hart, and it is both a gift for myself and a gift for my childhood best friend. Um, her birthday's coming up, and when I saw this, it was too perfect not to get. So I've already cut these. I'm covering up that. So let's go in, shall we? Oops. <laughs> More like little tape. That's so cute. Oh, it's a little thank you, like dark blackish blue paper. Kai, so Kai is the one that makes all of these things, and they are beautiful. Let me pop these out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so first of all, I got this custom made last year for my birthday, so I wanted to quickly showcase this. Um... This was definitely more expensive than these guys over here, but she makes these beautiful handmade leather journals and she thrifted, I believe, like all these embroidered pieces and then put them into journals. So it's very, very beautiful. Um, I've only just begun putting things in here and there's tons of pages, so I'm excited to continue filling that. Um, and then of course I had to get another one. <laughs> I can't help myself. I want to buy all of her things. So these are her little, oh, I can kind of see it. Her little hobbit journals. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay, so you could customize the color of the door. So I got a green one and a yellow one. I'm excited to see the yellow one. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, these are fantastic. Okay, so I love the variation of the color in the leathers. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. You can like draw or write something in these tiny little hobbit doors. Oh my gosh. Kaya, you did so beautiful. Okay, so... Over here, she'll hand make and hand stitch like all of these pieces, right? But she recently got some, I think they're like Cricut machines or something, where she designs and draws, I think on her iPad, and then has the machine engrave all these bits. And then she does all the work of staining it, um, putting it together. The craftsmanship is freaking amazing. Look at this, you guys. I'm going to do that like all the time. Oh, this is beautiful. And I just got the blank sheets on the inside. Um, so lots and lots of pages to sketch, draw, write. I believe. Yeah, these are like six and a half by five-ish or so. So like a perfect small medium size. Oh, and they're not too heavy either. So it's like perfect to throw in your bag when I go to like the coffee shop or down by the river or something to draw and sketch. They lay pretty flat. Oh my gosh. I might have to like clip to keep it completely flat. Most of my sketchbooks and journals are that way. Oh man, I don't know which color to give my friend. Her birthday's this June. Um, and we've been friends since we were six years old. And we always played like we were hobbits or gypsies on the run. Like that was just our playtime as kids. And on her childhood home out in their land, her dad had built her and her sisters like essentially a hobbit house. Um, and so we've been all about Lord of the Rings since we were little girls. So that's why when I saw this, I was like, it's too perfect not to get. And I was originally going to give her 
the green one, but I might give her the yellow one, but I also super dig the yellow one too. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite color is. I, I think she has where you can get a red and a blue door, if I'm not mistaken. So you have options, but this green one's quite beautiful. Oh, I love them. I'll show you kind of some closer. Look at that. So yeah, Dustlin and Hart, handmade. Her name is Kaya. She's the sweetest person. I've chatted with her many times um, over on Instagram. And she's just so kind and so beautiful. And she makes other things too. Um, I'll leave a link below in the description box of her site. And she makes beautiful work. She makes bookmarks. She'll do the resin with like dried flowers, like in frames or resin books. I want to buy everything from her. I freaking love all of her stuff so much. Um, this is on my, I'll show you this. I got this little resin fern that she made and I just hang it on uh, my wall. You could also like hang it in your car or something on the back of the mirror. So she'll make like little bits like this um, along with like earrings and different things. Let me hang that back up. But I love it on my, on my wall. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Hello again, everybody. Um, as you've seen, I have opened up these amazing Hobbit journals and I wanted to paint a scene inside of them. Um, one for myself and one for my friend. So the other day, I, I'll start with showing you, I made a Pinterest board um, of just different Lord of the Rings and like mostly Hobbit um, like artwork just to start getting some ideas of what I might want to paint on the inside. So I'm going to take some of these as inspiration. So from here, I believe this one of the Hobbit door, this one of the garden, and this one of the bridge, I created these little watercolor, like quick, quick ones. This is just like on cheaper paper. So I made the little Hobbit door on this side, I did the little garden, but without um, the hobbit right there, the little hobbit door in the distance. And then on this one, I was like, oh, I could kind of do like the Rivendell um, with the bridge and like the nine, you know. What are they called? I am a fan of Lord of the Rings, I promise. The Fellowship of the Ring. Oh my goodness. Don't come at me. Um, so I was playing around with them. And what they would look like. I measured this and it's roughly um, two inches so I used um, just one of these and this is just the two inch circle so I just drew it painted and then made like these so that I could kind of get an idea as to which one I liked the most and I can't choose out of any of them um, I don't really paint people, so this one might be a little bit more hard. Hard, I may or may not even have them in there. So I think I want to paint all three potentially, but the door and the garden here. So I'm going to keep these nearby, and I'm going to go ahead and sketch. Um, sketch all these out just like I normally do, where it's just the main lines, and then when I go in painting, and I believe I want to do gouache for all of these. These were just watercolors, so I could just lay down the colors really quickly. Here, I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. So there's the door. There's the garden. And there's the bridge one. So, love all of them. Lots of other options even in here. Like, yeah, see, there's the bridge one. This was the garden one. I think that's Sam. And then this was the door one that I just kind of took as inspiration um, for. Because again, you never want to copy another artist. And this is not something I'm selling. This is something I have in my journal and for my friend as a gift. So I, it's, it's all okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and sketch these guys out. I guess I should show um, on much nicer paper. This is my um, Arches hot press paper. Um, 
I did one where I did cut it out and then I realized I may want to paint off the edges and then I can cut it. So these guys are just on um, this paper. And then I do have a circle one, so I'll have to be a little bit careful with that, but that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'll put that over here. I'm going to start by sketching and then I'll tape it down so I can speed this part up so you don't have to watch me do all this. Okay, perfect. So I have the sketches happening, both for this one and this one, and I'm going to grab all my colors and I'm going to um, lay them out here. So let's gather the colors. Okay, so I needed to switch out my water so my water is clean and we're going to go ahead and start painting in the skies um, of each of these as well. So let's get to painting. All right, here is the final paintings. I got in the zone of just doing two, so I actually didn't um, get to paint this third one, so I'll have to do that another time. But this is the little watercolor sketch that I did a few days ago. Um, and there's the final one in gouache. And then down here, oops, um, the idea based off of the Pinterest and then my own little painting. And I just, love all the little flowers that I put in here and the softness of the meadows in the distance. Oh, I, I want to be a hobbit and just live in a hobbit home. I think that would be amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out to put in here. But first I wanted to just say thank you for being here and watching this. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps it um, reach other people. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. I do um, videos of my little paintings, 
of me painting outside with plain air. So I'd love to continue um, sharing my journey with you all if you want to subscribe and follow along. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to cut these out, place them in here, and put a few clips in so you can see the finalness of these cute little paintings. I'm so happy. Oh, okay, thanks guys. Perfect. So now we're going to put them inside. Oh. So now when you see it, here's the Hobbit Door Journal. And you open it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh. And I'm going to put this in this one. Oh, that one fit in a little better. I think this little circle, um... I would just have to like snip just a little bit of that, but let me show you. Look at that. That is too cute. And this one. Oh, I'm going to hold them both up so you can see them. Ta-da! Oh, that's very cute. Oh my gosh, yay!